Hello family, so this word is a bit much more specific. I want to just speak to somebody that that has been working with the Lord passionately, serving the Lord faithfully. There might be a few of you. Um, and you just sense that there's some people in your family or friends or even at work that actually just don't like you at all. They don't like you at all. They don't care about you at all. And it feels almost like as if they hate you with a passion, right? And I want to speak to you right now and let you know this. The reason why people hate you is because, number one, they see light in you. And number two, they see life in you. I want to make you understand something that Satan hates light. Satan hates light. And where there is life, he doesn't want that life to prosper. Have that understanding that the devil hates light. That's why he dwells in darkness. Have this understanding that if anybody hates you, you that you are called, you're serving the Lord and living for the Lord righteously. If you sense that anyone hates you, this is the reason why they hate you, child of God. Don't let it bother you. Don't let it bother you. It's simply because there is light in you that radiates through you when you come out and you go out and you speak. There is light in you and there is life in you. The life in you is Jesus. The life in you is the spirit of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the light in you is Christ as well. Because you have the life of Jesus in you, you have that light of life that is shining inside of you, coming out from the inside outwardly. And when demons and witches and wizards that are around you, that may be in your family, in your bloodline, your family bloodline, or in your workplace, when they see that light shining forth because of how you do things or, or how you speak or how you treat people, when they see that light and they see that light, it scares them. Let's read the word of God. In John 1 verse 5, this is what the word of God says. It says, and the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend it. And the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend it. And if we look at the meaning of comprehend, <laughs> according to Google, it simply just says understand, to understand something, right? To understand something. And the light shines in the dark, in the darkness, and the darkness could not comprehend it. Many people that act strange around you or show that they don't like you or that they hate you is because they just don't understand what is this thing that just they, just glows just comes out of you this beauty that radiates this light that shines forth out of you you know based on you know how you do things and how you move and how you speak and how you treat people and how you love and, and how you just you know care for the lives of people they don't understand it, so they will hate you and they will show signs of, you know, um, hatred towards you. So it's not for you to be worried, child of God. It is for you to thank the Lord and keep on asking the Lord for more grace to walk and live in his light. Hallelujah. The, the light shines in the dark. The darkness does not comprehend. So because they don't compre uh, you know, comprehend it, they don't understand it. They don't understand what your life is about because you're always so, you know, gloriously looking, you know, always so passionate about what you're doing, always so compassionate and always so merciful towards others, always, you know, serving the Lord, wanting to be righteous and all of that. They don't understand it, so they are confused. So, so they cannot want to be one with you. They can't. In other words, that, that means automatically that, that they become your enemies. They become just like your enemies. So your light must continue to shine regardless of that. But have an understanding that this is why these people hate you. This, this is why this person has been like this towards you. But continue to love the Lord. Continue to live for him. And his light and his life will continue to radiate and come forth out of your being for his glory in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I pray for your children even right now. May this word bless them in a mighty way, O oh God, and cover them in your blood in Jesus' mighty name. May your light and your life continue to shine and radiate through them from the inside out, Lord. And those that hate them and, and those that dislike them and treat them, Lord, 
in a very negative way, I pray, Lord God, that that light that shines in them will continue, oh God, to shine forth regardless of what those people do or what they say, Lord. That one day, Lord, they too themselves, Lord, because of these ones, their attitudes and, and their way of living, that they too will be saved in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' mighty holy name we pray. Amen and amen. I want to ask somebody today, if you're born again, are you born again? Have you given your life to Jesus? If you haven't, I want to pray with you. Pray with me very quickly. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I believe you died for me and I believe you were raised up on the third day. Jesus, I receive your forgiveness. I receive your mercy and I receive your Holy Spirit into my spirit. I declare I'm saved. I'm born again and I'm redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you for saying that prayer and welcome to the family of Christ. And I want to just encourage you, please get a Bible either on your phone or a physical hard copy Bible. And as you do, I pray you continue to grow your faith and the Lord will reveal your true calling to you in Jesus' mighty holy name. The Lord bless you. I love you all so much. Go ahead and subscribe if you're here for the first time. Love you so much, family. God be with you all in Jesus' mighty holy name. Jesus loves you so much more than I can ever do. God bless you all.